All right, in this video, I'm going to be replacing the HLA's hydraulic lash adjusters. And um, <clears throat> if uh, you want to know the steps, I'm going to show them to you. The first thing you have to do is untorque all the valve cover bolts. And then... Hold on. Remove your valve cover. Okay. Underneath... You can see all the rocker shafts, or the, both the rocker shafts with all the rockers. What you're going to do is detorque these bolts on the rocker shaft going outside in. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In that order, and you're going to take the rocker shafts off. When I come back to you, they'll be off. After you've removed your rocker covers or uh, excuse me your rocker shafts with the rockers on them good thing to do is inspect your camshaft and to inspect your um, valve stem seals I have one bad valve stem seal right there probably a worn out valve guide so I'll have to replace that at some point and uh, otherwise cam looks really good no scoring on the lobes anything like that you come over here and you want to inspect both intake and exhaust side to make sure that the rockers don't have any obvious damage they look really good all the contact points for the cam look really good so it's getting proper lubrication another thing you want to look for is collapsed lifters which there are none but this lifter right here does have a little bit of damage on it because the lifter itself keeps collapsing it's not holding pressure so I'm going to replace all of these hydraulic lash adjusters and when I do that I'm going to clean out the oil port that goes to them as well to ensure that the next set of lifters aren't starved for oil so I'll show you how to do that in just a second after I remove all the lifters alright after you've removed all of the lifters you want to roll the rockers over and on the back side, you'll see a little tiny hole in the top of the rocker. Well, that's the oil supply for the hydraulic lifters. So what you want to do is take a needle like this or a paper clip, and you just want to stick it in there and make sure that that oil port is clean. But don't get whatever is... or uh, excuse me don't get your clip stuck in there or you'll have to replace the rocker and it'll never come out so you just stick your needle in there poke through stick your needle in there poke through and just do that with all of them you just stick it in the hole and shove it in to push anything out what's up guys this next step is pretty simple. <clears throat> After you've cleaned out all these little oil feed holes for your hydraulic lifters, you put the new ones in. An important note, when you put them in, they'll go down and they'll stop. That's not all the way in. You have to give them a little push and it clicks them down into place. That's a very important step. If you don't get those lifters all the way down, it'll beat the shit out of them when you first start the car up. It seats them fast, but still, it's not good for them. So just put all those in and then bolt the rockers back on. By the time I come back to you, the rockers will be done. Okay, when you're putting the rocker shaft on, you have these plastic spacers and these spacers. These have to be, these space the rockers out properly to where you don't end up with stuff in places it's not supposed to go. So you got to make sure that all of those line up before you bother to screw any bolts down. All right, so I've already torqued down all of the <clears throat> rocker bolts, or rocker shaft bolts. Now I'm gonna go through and recheck each and every one of them. There it is, 20 foot pounds. So now, throw the valve cover on and she's done. New HLAs. She's 
running, letting the lifters pump up. Takes a little bit, but when she's done, she'll be smooth. <laughs> 